hi what's up everyone welcome back to my channel uh, so this is going to be kind of late uh, review of the Nokia 5.4 so uh, in Malaysia the Nokia 5.4 is going for a price of uh, 639 ringgit uh, it is quite significantly discounted from its original price of uh, 899 ringgit uh, but surprisingly the Nokia 5.3 is going for uh, 799 ringgit so the older model is surprisingly more expensive than the new one so there are tons of review of the Nokia 5.4 uh, outside uh, much earlier than this. So uh, I'm not sure whether this is going to be of any use to many, but I'm uh, just going to talk slightly about the Nokia 5.4 and what I have um, found or gathered about it compared to the Nokia 5.3. So the Nokia 5.4 was uh, launched uh, about six months after the Nokia 5.3 was introduced to the market. So um, I'm not sure about HMD, HMD's decision on bringing newer device uh, from the same uh, price category uh, but uh, bringing the Nokia 5.4 uh, less than 6 months of uh, 5.3's release is a bit confusing so that is the reason why I did not purchase the Nokia 5.4 earlier now with that said uh, let's take a look at the Nokia 5.4 and the Nokia 5.3 and I'm going to share you some information that I found out and then oh, Hopefully at the end of this uh, video you can decide on yourself uh, whether the Nokia 5.4 is actually of an upgrade to the Nokia 5.3. So uh, the shiny one here is the Nokia 5.4, the matte finished one here is the Nokia 5.3. Uh, both have a rear fingerprint scanner, a circular camera module, the LED placement is slightly different on the Nokia 5.3. Three, it's at the center of the circular module on the Nokia 5.4 it's above uh, this resembles more of the Nokia 8.3 now with that said uh, they do have uh, a same uh, wide angle uh, depth and macro so the wide angle is at 5 megapixel depth and macro is at 2 megapixel each the primary sensor however differs so it's 13 megapixel on the uh, 5.3 it's 48 megapixel uh, on the 5.4 but the 48 megapixel here is a quad Bayer sensor, so it's a effectively a 12 megapixel sensor. Uh, theoretically, they should allow more light in, so you should have a better low light performance. Uh, but I think the details on the Nokia 5.3 should be better because of its 13 megapixel sensor. So uh, on the left hand side of the device, uh, you will see a SIM uh, tray and also the SD card slot here. Here is the uh, Google Now button. Uh, on the right hand side the volume button and the power button so if you notice something uh, the Nokia 5.3 comes with a very useful notification light built into the power button but it is missing on the Nokia 5.4 so this is definitely a downgrade uh, in terms of uh, additional value to your device so uh, on the bottom end you've got the USB-C charging port and also the uh, bottom firing speaker and a microphone on the top uh, microphone and also a 3.5 millimeter head check so you can see that the in terms of dimension the Nokia 5.3 is slightly taller than the Nokia 5.4 uh, in terms of thickness I would say the Nokia 5.3 is probably slightly thinner than the Nokia 5.4 but that's negligible uh, in hand I do like the uh, matte finish on the Nokia 5.3 it gives you a better grip compared to the slippery Nokia 5.4 but uh, in terms of uh, comfort of holding, I feel that the Nokia 5.4 is much more comfortable uh, compared to the Nokia 5.3 because the 5.3 is just slightly thin and it's kind of um, sharp to hold. Okay, so I'm going to boot up this device. So uh, you already know the hardware specification of both these devices. The Nokia 5.4 runs on a, a slightly faster overclock processor compared to the Nokia 5.3. Oh, sorry, no, Nokia 5.3 runs on a slightly faster processor than uh, 5.4. Uh, but I think that the software on the Nokia 5.4 is slightly more polished compared to the Nokia 5.3. So both uh, booted up slightly faster on the Nokia 5.4 here. So we're going to see which one is going to uh, start up first.
So there you have it, the Nokia 5.4 booted up much faster compared to the Nokia 5.3. So I think this has something to do with software, uh, probably the Nokia 5.4 uh, software is slightly more optimized. Both are running on Android 10. So uh, probably things get better with Android 11 update on both these devices. So uh, that's how the fingerprint works. Both are actually very efficient, uh, but I feel that the registering of the fingerprint itself is slightly hassle-free on the Nokia 5.4 compared to the Nokia 5.3. So both devices uh, have the same HD quality uh, LCD display. They are not really vibrant, but I think they do just fine. Uh, in terms of uh, sharpness, I feel that uh, the Nokia 5.4 probably slightly better because the Nokia 5.3's larger screen means uh, there are less pixel density here. So, but not really an issue. Both are actually great uh, to enjoy or consume uh, media on the go. So, uh, we're going to continue this uh, comparison by launching a few uh, built-in apps, just a few. So, launching of these uh, built-in apps are about the same. So I'm going to launch the camera on, uh, sorry, I'm going to close this first, okay, and then relaunch the camera. Alright, so uh, slightly faster than the Nokia 5.4, uh, but you do notice that is something totally off with the Nokia 5.4 compared to the Nokia 5.3. We're going to get back to this later. Alright, let's launch the web page. Now, uh, one thing you need to know is that the Nokia 5.4 doesn't support the 5 GHz bandwidth for the Wi-Fi. It only supports the 2.4 GHz uh, Wi-Fi, whereas the 5.3 actually supports both. So, uh, in practice, what this, this translates to is a slower uh, download speed compared to the uh, Nokia 5.3. So, why the omission of this 5 GHz bandwidth support, I am not sure. Uh, I think this is a not a really good decision uh, you will notice significant uh, in, uh, sorry increase in the time to download large uh, content such as games medias and apps so uh, this is the download speed uh, they are actually both connected to 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi at the moment to make this uh, test uh, fair So that's the download speed and upload speed for the Nokia 5.3, sorry, for the Nokia So you can already see, although connected to the same uh, Wi-Fi, the download and upload speed is much faster on the Nokia 5.3 compared to the Nokia 5.4. We're just going to load some websites and see uh, how they uh, load. In theory, I find that the, uh, sorry, I think I have to redo this test. Okay, we'll go to a different website. So uh, in practice, I find the uh, web uh, rendering is slightly faster on the Nokia 5.4. Like I said, uh, probably a more polished software compared to the ones on Nokia 5.3. Okay, so both loaded up about the same time. Yep. Okay, let's go to GSM Arena. Yep, they kind of load the same, all right? So I'm going to show you uh, where the speed of the internet matters. So... Okay, so I'm just going to download some random games, see which one installs faster. So you can already see that the Nokia 5.3 is leading in terms of download speed.
So the Nokia 5.3 is already done downloading and installing. Uh, so Nokia 5.4 is at the back. So that there you go. Nokia 5.3 is already done, and Nokia 5.4 is just about to install. So if you've got a larger uh, file size, then the differences become even more significant. I'm going to just launch a game. I'm uh, not into games actually, but just to for this test purpose. So this is the 5.4, this is the 5.3 So there you go, Nokia 5.3 uh, three booted up the game much early. So uh, the next uh, difference that I noted is that uh, absence of uh, NFC in the Nokia 5.4. So you can see that NFC is present on the Nokia 5.3 but it is absent on the Nokia 5.4. So if that matters to you then uh, you know which device to go for. Uh, we, let's talk a bit about the camera system here. So the camera system in the Nokia 5.4 is probably its main selling point. So both has a similar uh, configuration here, uh, similar UI, uh, but the difference is when it comes to uh, Nokia 5.4, it has a sp uh, special cinema mode. So this was introduced with the Nokia 8.3 and is brought here. So I think this is some something great, especially those of you that likes to uh, record videos. So it comes with noise. Uh, sorry, this is wind cancellation. Uh, supports a higher bit rate of recording, but this recording goes only to uh, somewhat of a full, not really a full HD, slightly below full HD. So you got the options of recording at 20 megabits or 50 megabits. And uh, the other cool thing is that you can actually change the, um, how to say, the color grading for the video. So you can choose a different color grading as you like. Uh, I think it all depends on your creativity. Uh, but the other sad thing about the Nokia 5.4 is that uh, it doesn't record uh, in 4K. So instead, you get a full HD at 1080p, 60 frames per second. I'm not sure whether with Android 11 they would bring a 4K recording. Uh, chances are slim. The front camera is a 16 megapixel and uh, it actually records up to uh, full HD at 60 frames per second as well. So uh, no 4K love here, but you do have the options to save in HEIF format, uh, which is a good thing, especially if you're into uh, recording videos and editing. So on the 5.3, um, you don't have this uh, specific cinema mode, uh, but you do have uh, 4K recording from the back, uh, but there's no options for 60 frames per second at 1080p. So the front camera is 8 megapixel, it records at full HD 1080p. So uh, the other thing that uh, I'd like to talk about is that uh, the Nokia 5.4 uh, has an OZO audio recording but the Nokia 5.3 doesn't have. So I haven't really actually tested the video uh, capability, the stability, the camera performance. I'm going to put it to the end of the review here. Uh, so um, in terms of video recording, this has slightly a better edge because uh, despite not having 4K, I think uh, 1080p is suitable for most of us at the moment. and. Uh, Things do actually look uh, slightly more polished on the Nokia 5.4 compared to the Nokia 5.3 but the Nokia 5.3's raw power cannot be uh, side aside because I think it has significant um, value to most of the users out there. So uh, this is the rough uh, differences that I have noticed between the Nokia 5.4 and the Nokia 5.3. So I'm going to move next to the uh, Nokia 5.4 camera issue that I have noted. So I'm going to bring in my trusted subject, Mr. Groot here. So I'm going to launch this uh, camera. Mm -hmm. So you can see that the Nokia 5.3 locks to the subject pretty fast. Okay, so this is using the primary sensor. The colors are actually quite good. Uh, if you have not watched my previous video comparing the Nokia 5.3 to the Lumia 950, do watch. Uh, the Nokia uh, 5.3 actually performs quite good in that uh, test. So you can see fairly accurate color and also locked to the subject with no issues. I'm going to do the same with the Nokia 5.4 here. So uh, did you notice, can you see anything? So one is the color seems to be slightly duller here and the other thing is that uh, it's kind of blurred. So you can see 
details here are slightly blurry compared to the ones at the back. So this is the issues with most of the large sensors. Uh, they have very uh, inadequate focal length for focusing. So uh, close-up images, especially like this with the primary sensor, would often lead into blurred image. So let's say if I were to focus on the image of the just the head here, you can see how blurry the details are. Now if I were to do the same, uh, sorry, if I were to do the same with the uh, Nokia 5.3 you can see that the edges are slightly better defined the focusing is uh, pretty much good I'm going to do the same again so you can see that it has trouble focusing in despite me tapping to focus so this is one of the issues with the sensor especially those using the quad bayer sensors there you go hard to focus so, yep, this is uh, some of the things that I've noted.